Adolf Hitler, probably one of the worst human beings who ever lived. Uh, awful, awful, horrendous individual. But there's a lot of fascination out there about him and his death. What happened? Did he survive? Did you ever hear that rumor that he might have been living off in South America with his girlfriend, Ava Braun, who I guess he later married? So the story is uh, very interesting, but you probably don't know it, and neither do I. There is a new book out. It's called What Really Happened? The Death of Hitler. Robert J. Hutchinson is the author. Sir, welcome to Newsmax. How are you? Very good. Thanks for having me on. You bet. All right. So, look, I, uh, like the rest of the world, I was told that, you know, he shot himself in that bunker. Ava Braun took poison and uh, the bodies were burned by his loyalists and uh, no remains were discovered. That's uh, the Reader's Digest version that a lot of us believe. What's wrong? Well, it's actually correct. But the problem is, is there were so many uh, holes in the story and, and so many things that kept turning up, little tidbits of information that it fueled con uh, conspiracy theories that endured for 70 years. As early as late as uh, 2015, the History Channel did a three-year reality TV series called Hunting Hitler, which was a supposedly serious investigation about whether Hitler managed to escape at the last minute and live the rest of his life peacefully in Argentina with Eva Braun and uh, perhaps his daughter, Ursula. And uh, it wasn't until 2018 that the world actually got definitive physical evidence about what really happened. That's how long it's taken to, to put this story to bed. All right. So I know I got to buy the book and read it, but I may not get around to it for a little while. So can you give me a little bit of what happened in 2018? Um, you know, I guess they found something, right? Well, what happened was is that the Russians actually knew what happened. But what most people don't realize is that the Western allies didn't go into Berlin for two months uh, after the end of the war. They allowed the Russian, the Soviet army, to basically conquer Berlin. And the Russians, uh, Stalin himself, told the West, the Western allies, that they hadn't found Hitler's body and that they thought he had escaped probably to Argentina. And there were a lot of interesting kind of factoids that supported that. Uh, there were two Russian submarines that managed to land on the coast of Argentina in 1945. And then in 2014, Barack Obama uh, issued an executive order that unlocked formerly top secret FBI and CIA files that showed that the FBI had investigated reports that Hitler had escaped as late as the late 1950s. So that continued to fuel more and more uh, conspiracy theories. And then in 2009, the Russians finally allowed a Western pathologist to examine a skull fragment that they said belonged to Adolf Hitler that they had recovered after the war. And this U.S. pathologist said, no, it was impossible. DNA tests and other tests showed that it was belonged to a woman under 40. And that just led to a slew of newspaper headlines around the world that maybe the history books got it wrong and maybe Hitler actually managed to escape. So the Russians knew the whole, they knew the whole story the whole time, right? They did. They found his body uh, very quickly. It was difficult. There were 150 bodies strewed about the Fuhrer bunker grounds, but they identified the body. They did an autopsy, and then they secretly buried it for 25 years uh, until 1970, when they had to give East Germany back to the to the Germans, and they were afraid it would become a shrine, a site of a shrine. So they disinterred it. Uh, burned all the remains of Hitler, Eva Braun, and the Goebbels family into ashes and scattered the remains in the river. But they kept one important part, which was Hitler's jawbone and his teeth. And that was finally, in 2017, they allowed Western experts for the first time to physically examine those uh, that jawbone. Yeah. And that was decreed that absolutely was Adolf Hitler's teeth. So he couldn't have escaped to Argentina. So wild and pretty weird, too, and fascinating. Robert J. Hutchinson, the name of the book, What Really Happened, The Death of Hitler. Uh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to download it and uh, check it out. Thank you very much. Hey, by the way, you know this real quick. Doesn't he have nephews who live in New York? Adolf Hitler, actually, they changed. <laughs> That's true, isn't it? 
Yes, he has actually. He actually has relatives all over the world, although they're not part of his direct line. They're from his uh, his other members of his family. He didn't have any children himself. Didn't have any children, but he had some nephews, and uh, some of them are on the, in the greater New York area. And I just learned around the world. Pretty wild, Mr. Hutchinson. Thank you. Thank you. All right, coming up.